Hello guys, how is everyone doing? So now this is an open world so you can see there's a lot of vendors so I'm going to start from the right hand side and go all the way to the left and show you each of the vendors okay so now this is the normal vendor so you just need to need to obtain the normal currency always happy to help a friend find exactly what they need so the normal currency is actually called let me go to my currency tab it's actually called splintered coin it's not a four course meal but it'll do so you have the adaptive arguments for the tank, uh, my DPS, precision DPS, um, healers and the controllers and of course then you have the normal gear for DPS and the item level is 275 and then you go uh, and have the tank side as well, the weapons and everything. So just a pretty standard um, vendor right there and now we have the um, supply bar to Omega. So here we have the uh, elite gear okay and the item level is 277 so again you just need a normal currency to get obtain the full elite gear now this is where it starts to get interesting so now as again this is the um, event version of the vendor so just and and again you just need a normal currency okay to get these um to get the items from these three vendors that i've just shown but now these two vendors well this vendor here especially is now giving elite weapons elite rings and much more powerful mods than what you will usually get from the drops inside instance while well, in the episode so i just did a raid and i got a, a restoration version 38.2 but now if you go to this vendor you will go and see the 38.4 mods okay which are much more powerful in regards to stats so restoration here gives me 463 resto but the one I got from the raid gives me 438 so the stats are much more much much higher and also if you scroll down um, ignore all of these this I believe just for styles okay for any other styles that you may be after so if you scroll all the way down here, here you have um, elite CR, neck pieces, ring pieces, weapon pieces, which you can get for both roles, okay? And here, you notice you need to get 500 of the other currency. I'm not sure what it's called again, but um, then you need so much of the normal currency to get these pieces, okay? So here you have the um, brawler, brawler's weapon. And there's one thing I need to note these weapons are just not normal weapons these give you enhancements so let's say for the tank roll um, superpowers and weapon combos have a chance to increase your primary stat by 2% for 8 seconds while in the Wonder West content this value is increased by 2% for each nearby ally with an enhanced slayer weapon up to a maximum of 10% and can only occur once every 40 seconds so the more people who have these weapons you can get the maximum buff of 10% of your stats okay so stats means over all of your stats whether it's health restoration dominance or precision or might okay and I believe it does the same thing for the DPS weapons yeah it's exactly the same it just depends where role you are okay and if you scroll okay that's it so as you as I show you the elite vendor are you in need of repairs so the elite vendor as you could see the um, CR was 277 for the elite um, items now you can get the rings and the weapons and the um, neck piece at the same CR which is great by the way okay that gives um, for the elite players or the people who want the max um, you know everything here's a chance to do it now okay so this second currency actually drops in from the um, defeating the bosses in the open world which you can keep on defeating infinite number of times okay so that's great so that is the event discovered um, just to recap so you have the um, normal vendor here and then you have the elite vendor 
then you have the event version and then here you have the um, the special vendor which requires a second currency which sells you items at a much higher level especially the um, neck socket I mean the neck pieces the um, weapons and the rings and also it gives allows you to get the highest generator mods available in the current episode so that is all for the video um, just one more thing you guys might be wondering what is the CR requirements for this so let's find out so if you've got the window verse fractured got sphere aid so the minimum you need is 299 okay so if you guys have any characters below this number I suggest you get your CR 299 plus okay then you can get access to this episode and of course you have the event versions okay um, the only one raid the um, alert and then you have the solo the event versions of them okay so that is all for the video and um, thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe